Sharing your family history online. This is the book I want to show you today, uh, written by well-known author and genealogist Chris Payton. Um, he has written this book to be able to highlight the ways that people can use to share their family history. And I just don't mean by having it on a website and sharing it that way. There are many more ways in doing so. So. Uh, he's, it's, it's a practical guide to family history collaboration and it's packed with case studies and tips to help you get the best in your ancestral endeavours. So he covers a whole bunch of different things. So apart from um, uh, using social media, um, which is a big thing, so Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and various other things. Image sharing, using Instagram, Pinterest and Flickr using blogs such as Blogger or WordPress to share your stories, um, using virtual meetings or webinars, obviously that's become a big thing in the last couple of years, using Zoom or Skype or FaceTime, um, even Facebook Messenger. Um, he covers collaboration and crowdsourcing. Um, there are many groups that have uh, you know, volunteers or request volunteers to help with particular projects and quite a lot of these can be done virtually um, and he's named some big ones here such as the World Archives Project, the Family Search Indexing, Free UK Gen, Find a Grave, Billion Graves, Gen UK and so on. I would add to that list as an Australian I would say Trove Newspaper Indexing. That is a crowdsourcing project, it's an ongoing one, there's volunteers, people just do it from time to time and it helps everybody. Every line you, you correct helps somebody. So that's a big one. Recording your family history, that's also the chapter that he talks about having your tree in a genealogy program or online on a website. Um, obviously that's important and then you can choose whether you want to share your information with others publicly or privately that's up to you um, dna he's got a chapter here on dna and tells you about the different types of tests and the testing companies as well and that's another way to be able to share your information and connect with others so uh, another chapter covers sharing and preserving stories um, this is a big one for me actually because personally if you're doing research you need to share your stories because there's no point doing the research if you're not going to because you're just collecting all this information and your next generation doesn't know anything about it so this in this one he talks about the videoing it and audio um, sharing on websites or self-publishing so as you can see there's lots of different ways to be able to share your family history online and so if that's something you're wanting to do more of definitely check out this book. So share your family history online, a guide for family historians.